Hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Ethan Ashley and I'm currently a second year music education student at the University of Texas at Austin. It is now spring break, so I thought I'd update you guys with what I've been up to the last few weeks and what is coming up on the horizon. We've got the NASA conference this week, so I'm so excited to see so many of you. While we talk, I'm probably just gonna be breaking in some reads, so I hope you enjoy. First off, let's get this straight. The last few weeks have been absolutely killer. Easily the hardest few weeks of the semester and definitely that pivot point where from now on the semester is gonna get a lot easier, which I'm so excited for. About a week or two ago, I had my second one ensemble concert of the semester where we played some really cool music um, by Shostakovich, Viet Quang, and Zhou Tian. Um, I will link the Viet Quang up in one of these corners on the U Texas Band's YouTube page. The Viet Quang was titled Second Nature and it featured a saxophone quartet up front and I got to be a part of the band that accompanied them. My studio mates absolutely killed that performance and I'm so glad I got to be a part of it. I very much look forward to our third concert coming up soon. We also recently had two junior recitals in the studio by Catherine Oles and David Bennett. I will link those in the description or up here in one of the corners. They both played some really cool and inspiring music, so please go check those out. I was actually fortunate enough to play on David's recital. He played a Yoshimatsu piece. He arranged it for sax ensemble and harp, where he played a solo in front. It was really cool, go check out that video. I was also the one to record both of their recitals, so if anyone has an upcoming performance or recital that they want professionally recorded, I would love to do so. That just allows you to worry about one less thing on that really nerve-wracking day. Last week, the UT Butler School had the professional read quintet split reads come out and give a few presentations, masterclasses, and concerts. And because of that, the saxophone studio was fortunate enough to have a masterclass given by Dr. Nikki Roman, who is the saxophone player in that reed quintet. The group I'm a part of, the Jester Quartet, was given the opportunity to perform in said masterclass, where we played the final movement of Gotkovsky, and she gave us some wonderful advice. We were actually told to do a few rehearsals just on our necks, which I thought was a little crazy, but it makes so much sense, because that's going to help with cueing and breathing and starting together. It eliminates a few those variables like playing the actual instrument which I thought was a really cool idea. Most of you guys probably know this already but I have a bad habit of playing on leger reeds. I just love the consistency of them and I find that I can get a pretty good sound. I know that with a cane reed I can get that 10 out of 10 sound that I want but I have a hard time with the inconsistencies of them so I find that if I can get an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10 sound on a leger reed that I would rather just not have to deal with the hassle of the cane reeds. But in spite of all of that, I have decided to break in a few cane reeds just to try them out again and see what they will do for me. Right now I plan the concept, so right now I'm breaking in three um, Van Dorn Blue Box three and a halfs, I think, and one Daddario reserve three and a half as well. Right now I'm on day four or five of the reed breaking process and I'm not going to talk a lot about that because my professor Dr. Page has a wonderful video that I'll link down below um, where he talks about the whole reed breaking process and it's pretty much what I do. I just like to soak them until I see the water get all the way through them and you want to slowly reintroduce them to water so I don't do a lot of soaking on the first few days. But then I'll just let them sit for a little bit and then we'll go ahead and play them. This last week was the last week of classes before spring break, which I'm on currently. I'm back home, which I'm so excited to be able to relax and decompress for the first half of the week, but the second half of the week, unfortunately, is taken up by NASA, which is a blessing and a curse. I do wish I had a full week where I could relax and decompress, but hey, I'll live. Okay, let's go ahead and play a few of these. I'm gonna leave the audio going through this mic so that I don't have to switch back and forth. I would just rather my words be nice rather than my saxophone playing. The first one I'm gonna start with is the Daddario three and a half reserve. I'm gonna play it for about a minute and a half since we're only on day three or four, and then I'm gonna write down what the tendency of it is to be hard or soft or right in the middle of what I would like. on the extreme registers of the horn, so I'm gonna stay above low C and then below C with the octave key, so in that two octave range. I'm just gonna write a little dot in the reed, which tells me that I like how it feels and that I think it's gonna settle right in once it breaks in a little bit more to a strength that I really like. The next one we're gonna do is a Van Dorn Blue Box three and a half. This 
this one's a little hard. It's very weird comparing these two brands of reeds back to back. I'm just gonna write a little plus on this one just because I thought it was a little tough. They play very similarly, which I'm quite surprised being that they're two different brands, but they do play very similar on this mouthpiece and I feel like I'm gonna really like how these reads turn out in the next few weeks as I break them in more. At this upcoming NASA conference, my quartet's playing in the semifinal round of the collegiate quartet competition, which we've been prepping for ever since we found out about it in January. It's been a really big grind. We've rehearsed more than we ever have. We've had a lot of fun doing it. There has been some ups and downs, but overall it's been a awesome challenge for us. And I'm really glad we've had the opportunity to do it. Okay, so for the third read that we're doing is another Van Dorn Blue Box three and a half. I find that I play a lot harder reads than most people. And I know it's because the mouthpiece that I'm playing on the concept is so closed, but even compared to other people who play the concept, I find that I play harder reads. <laughs> audio is coming across but this one seems to have a really punchy center quality of the sound um, and not much outside to it. it feels a little bit open and a little stuffy almost I'm not sure if that's coming through but it sounds a little stuffy I'm not sure if I like this one it still sounds pretty good okay and then the fourth and final read that we're gonna break in today is another Indoor and blue box three and a half. I just had these laying around in my case, sealed obviously, um, but I had these laying around in my case, so I thought I'd break them in. Whew, this one is not as resistant as the last few. This honestly feels like a really good read right now. I worry that it's going to be a little thin once it's broken in, but we'll see. So now we're just going to let those dry before we put them back in the case. I use a little Pelican case. Dr. Page also has a video that I will link down below where he talks about his reed case and all of the things to do with that. I think I'm actually going to vlog NASA, which will be my first vlog, but we will see how that goes. I really want to share that experience with you all, and I think it's something that everyone should go to if you're a saxophonist. I've been the last two biennial conferences in 2020 and 2023 and now 2024. It's been so cool seeing so many saxophonists perform, present, and just have a good time and hang out with each other and talk about what we've been up to in the last year. It's just a, a cool event and I think it's something that everyone should go to. Once I'm back from NASA, the rest of the semester should be a bit of a breeze. I know we'll still have a bunch of tests and I've got a jury at the end of the semester as well as the barrier test slash jury for music ed in order to go up to the upper division classes. I'll be happy to have a little bit more free time to film some more of these videos like this. I hope to get a video out every week, but we'll see. If you guys ever have any video ideas for me, please drop them down below. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think about the videos I've done so far and any video ideas for the future. So with that, I think I'm gonna go practice. I've had a lot of fun filming this video and I hope you enjoyed. Please hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you next time. Look out for that NASA vlog coming up. Peace. Man, you'd think at this point it'd be a little bit easier to talk this to anything.